the J6 2018, Samsung's cheapest phone to sport the Infinity Display. So how does this one fare? Well, before we can answer that, let's first unbox it. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and here's a card to a latest giveaway. I'll also be leaving a direct link in the description below. And while you're down there, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified every time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. Let's now get the unboxing. The J6 comes in a white box with some branding to the top. The back of the box has some of the basic specs mentioned as well. Anyway, let's take the plastic cover off and have a look at the phone inside. The first thing inside the box is the J6. Let's take it out, so out of its plastic cover. We have the black colored variant of the J6 and the back already seems to have picked up a few smudges. Anyway, let's set it aside for now. Uh, then there are the regular booklets. The SAR value is shown here. I know some of you guys want to see that. We also have the SIM ejector pin, a micro USB cable, some basic earphones and a wall adapter. Let's now get back to the J6 and boot it up for the first time. With the phone up and running, let's take a closer look at that Infinity display. Now Samsung's gone with a 5.6 inch HD plus 18.5 by 9 AMOLED panel here. I gotta say for a budget device, the bezels here are pretty minimal. And thanks to the overall smaller footprint, this is one of the rare devices that you can actually use single handed. The rounded back fits nicely in the palm and the metal trim surrounding the phone gives it a premium feel. Taking a look around the device, we have the speaker grill and power button to the right. The top is left clean while the left houses the volume buttons a SIM slot as well as a secondary SIM and dedicated micro SD slot. The bottom is home to the 3.5mm headphone jack, primary microphone and micro USB port. To the top of the Infinity display, we've got a friend facing camera, a speaker grill, sensors and the friend firing flash. The bottom is left empty. The shrinking bezels means the fingerprint sensor has been relocated to the back. Here we also find the single rear camera as well as a flash. The back itself is made out of polycarbonate and contains prominent Samsung branding in the middle as well as some more regulatory info towards the bottom. Internally, we have the Exynos 7870. Now this is an old old chip that we've seen on a lot of devices. The J7 2016, the J7 2017, the J5 2017, the A3 2017, all of them run the same 1.6 GHz Cortex A53 powered Exynos 7870. With this being a two year old chip, we don't really expect this uh, performance to surprise us, but it does come with only an HD plus display, so it is pu pushing lesser pixels, so day to day performance should be good enough. Moving on, we have 3 gigs of RAM with 32 gigs of onboard storage. There is also a 464 variant available. Powering all this, we have a 3000 mAh battery. Now, one thing worth mentioning is Samsung sensor selection. Samsung in traditional Samsung fashion has come out of the device in 2018 that doesn't have an ambient light sensor. When are you going to learn Samsung? But anyway, uh, what there are just so many sensors missing that, you know, I'm just going to throw up this screenshot showing you what is available. So make what you can out of that. Uh, what is available though a lot are the software features. Some of these like Samsung Mall and Samsung Max are apps I doubt anyone would use. But there are some useful ones thrown in here and there. Secure folder is a nice security add-on and so is the inclusion of face unlock. We also have fingerprint gestures for bringing down the notification tray and dual messenger that lets you run two instances of the same app at once. The J6 also comes with Dolby Atmos on board which is something I'm sure the music lovers out there would appreciate. Samsung have included a new feature, something they call chat over video. So this lets you reply to say what's up and so on while a video continues to run. As far as software features go, this is a good one. The translucent keyboard's a nice touch too. Well, there is no always on display, you do have smart alert vibrations to let you know when you have Android notifications whenever you pick the phone up. And one of my personal favorite features, Samsung Pay is here, but sadly it is the mini version which means it's restricted only to mobile wallets. All of this running on Samsung Experience that's built on top of Android 8.0 Oreo. Enough about the software though, let's take a look at the cameras now. We have a 13 megapixel f1.9 rear shooter on the J6 coupled with an 8 megapixel f1.9 selfie shooter. The front flaring flash has gotten a facelift here, it now has 3 levels of intensity. On the software front, there's only a depreciated pro mode as expected. Uh, the pictures that you're seeing here were all shot with these cameras. How do you think they fared? Let us know in the comments below. And now let's wrap this one with price. Well, as of filming, there is no official confirmation on price from Samsung, but considering the price of the J7 2017, we'd assume that Samsung would price it around 
uh, between the 12 to 14k mark so at that price with a two-year-old processor and mediocre specs all around uh, the J6 2018 becomes a hard sell becomes a little hard to recommend even if Samsung did manage to price this you know around the 10k mark even then it gets a lot of competition from the Redmi 5 and the Realme 1 more recently even the Zenfone Max Pro is around that segment what do you guys think are Samsung software features the fact that it sports an AMOLED panel and the fact that it is a Samsung phone are all these uh, important enough to you to value the j6 as a reasonably good offering from samsung or is the fact that it has a 7870 only a single camera uh, and the and also the fact that the display is just hd plus are these gonna uh, make you hold back on considering this phone uh, as a possible choice if you are to buy one in this segment let me know the, let me know your thoughts in the comments below so and with that it, we get to the end of this unboxing and quick hands-on uh, I guess it's time I bid you adieu uh, guys again the videos I know I've been apologizing a bit right now this is shot after a night of no sleep I just traveled from London to Dubai uh, not my regular setup so I am a little tired so sorry if the energy levels are not there I would get I will get used to it I will do better just bear with me for the time being so if you hated this video you know what to do but if you did like it go ahead give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and also turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon so that's it for now thanks a lot for watching till next time my name is ash you've been watching c4e tech and i'm signing off you guys have a great day Bye bye